Hi, this is Ushio. Welcome to the Pits of Hell. This is a single volume manga from Breakdown Press. And this is a bit of a underground weird comic. It develops a style known as Heta Uma, which means good, bad. So the artwork is bad, but it's done deliberately. So like the expression of the artwork, it's got a certain aesthetic that it's trying to show where everything looks really, really kind of a little bit crap and a little bit gross. And also be aware, I'm going to swear in this video. If you don't like swearing, click away now. It's, it's this odd little thing. And I don't think you can review it without discussing the swearing or the kind of content that is going to appear in this book. So what is the story? There isn't, I don't want to say there isn't a story. It's lots of short stories, like single chapter, like kind of, they're not, they're not stories. <laughs> they're kind of like instances and things that occur and you just kind of follow one character through and see what happens on their day. And most people having a bad day. One of the chapters is called Fuck Off. <laughs> and that's kind of a theme that kind of pervades the entire book. Things happen, bad things happen, a character reaches a breaking point and they just go, fuck you, I'm going to smash your face in now. Or you know when you're having a bad day and you just kind of think to yourself, oh, I wish I could just smash that guy's face in. This book actually follows through and does that thing. It will cut that person's head off. It will throw that person off a building. And it's kind of, it's a bit of a, leave me alone, let me do my thing. And if you piss me off too much, I'm going to kick your fucking head in. You know, this is, this is kind of what this manga does quite a lot. It is predominantly a comedy. It is not really meant to be taken seriously. The actual artist, he's also a television celebrity in Japan. So he kind of lives two lives. He lives his like public TV side. And then he has his strange little manga side. Also, there's, there's like an essay in the back that explains a little bit more about him. And the author he likes is gambling. Gambling is like his major vice in his life. And so... Apparently, I didn't know, there are only three methods of gambling you're allowed to have in Japan. You've got horse racing, boat racing, and I can't remember. I'll leave a subtitle to say what that is. So as that's of a personal interest to the artist, it's also included in a lot of these stories. It's basically a lot of kind of guys that got very like regular everyday lives and they just want to you know do a bit of gambling do their own thing leave me alone i'll kick your face in and when the world's a little bit crazy and kind of gets in your face and you just want to be left alone yeah breaking points happen all the time it does get quite violent and it is ugly because of the heta uma style things get ugly there are certain instances where there's like a woman gets beaten up or something bad happens but it's done in such a weird caricatured obviously over the top stupid kind of way it's there's the shock value is there but at the same time it's very much like you're just doing random doodles on a piece of paper just to get it out of your system it's a weird one as like someone who's supposed to be like doing overviews or reviews of certain series i don't really know what to say <laughs> it is heta uma it is ugly it is weird it doesn't really have a lot in the way of story it doesn't really make a lot of sense. It doesn't give you any answers or any morals or conclusions or things you can learn from it. It's just kind of like, I read a thing, something happened, I thought it was a bit of a laugh, and then I moved on with my day. It's very much on that indie underground area of manga. It's, it's certainly not got mainstream appeal. And it's, it's a strange, strange little thing. I'm a bad person, so I actually laughed a couple of times reading it. The world is a horrible, ugly place. We're all horrible, ugly people, and we do horrible, ugly things to each other sometimes. And it just kind of revels in that slightly. It's crude, it's nasty, and it's it's kind of fun. <laughs> and that is The Pits of Hell. It's, it's odd. If you like your really off-the-wall underground manga, but don't take it super seriously, this is probably quite a good one to pick up. That's it, really. It's, it's weird, it's violent, it's kind of gross. But that was The Pits of Hell. Hope you found it interesting. I didn't really know what to say about it. But yeah, this is the show signing off and hopefully I will see you next time.